Ya Allah, ya Allah. Accountability. You don't just open the door. You have to look, check back to see if there are any cars that are coming. So you've seen what has happened. She opened the door while there was a car coming. All of the lights are about to start like popping off. Wow, that was crazy. That was insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, okay. I forgot to pull my hand break up. I She better pray. Maybe there's some some stuff that where the car would uh, hit in, and there won't be much damage. Looking at the, the pace at which the car is moving now, but like if it's too sloppy like that, oh man, it's done. I told my wife to go in and ask for blinker fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, she's embarrassed. Why? Wait, why didn't you get it? No. Why didn't I get what money? What did you ask me to get money? It's not funny. What did you ask? Did you ask him to help you find it? This man looked at me like I'm stupid. Wait, what did you ask him for? That was the dumbest thing ever. What did you ask him for? Oh, blinker. Blinker what? <laughs> blinker fluid. You didn't get the blinker fluid. <laughs> this means that I was pulling a prank on him. It's not even funny. Like, honey, I'm gonna freaking cry. I sit here and I was like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm looking at him. He's like, huh? Can you say that for me one more time? I'm like, oh, blinker fluid. I just need some blinker fluid for my car. How many times I, did you say it? I said it a couple of times. And then I'm like, I'm like, do y'all not have it for a Forerunner? Because I have a, I have a 2018 Forerunner. Maybe it's my type of car. He's looking at me like. Ma'am, I don't, I don't think that's a thing. What do you mean that's not a thing? Everybody needs it, right? <laughs> no, just you. Shut up. Shut up. That was a good one. one. I, tell I can't you, it's a stand good you one. right now. <laughs> I'm like, you like, got... are you sure your light just isn't out? <laughs> it's not funny. It's All not right. Funny. All right, my bad. I'm going tell you, like, money, I'm telling you right now. All right, we can order another light. We'll order a light. But I just had to, to make sure it didn't need blink, 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 <laughs> 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 Oh it's man, funny. it's gay. I'm never going anywhere with you again. All right, my bad. You a freaking heifer. I need you to understand that. That was so embarrassing. Go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Find and arrest this man. Would you rather be the king's mistress or a peasant's wife? Oh. King's mistress. Also king's mistress. Yeah, king's mistress. Same. Peasant's wife. King's mistress. King's mistress. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> this video shows you that uh, a man with resources is able to get away with anything. You understand. So you can have... <laughs> Do I need to tell you? <laughs> Even if they found out that you were married, I mean, it's not a problem. Looking at the majority of them would rather have 
a man with resources. And he can be married. They, they are okay to be a mistress as long as they, um, they have their soft life. <laughs> well, other women are trying to be strong and independent. These women here on the panel, they want to be mistresses. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you know why rich men don't want to date a feminist? There's actually a few reasons. First is because they can't ever seem to relax. Something's always got to be about something else. There's always got to be a point. There's always got to be a fight. There's always got to be something to talk about. And wealthy men, their lives are filled with arguments, negotiation, trying to get one up on somebody else, conflict. They want to come home to a world without conflict. They want to be able to relax in their space. And feminists just can't relax. And second is that they're just too competitive. A feminist doesn't want a guy doing things for her because she thinks that means that she's less of a powerful equal woman or whatever. So a feminist will say, stop doing all these things for me or I don't need you. Well, let me tell you, a rich man will tell you, fine, go find a guy who would rather mock you when you ask for a favor or ask for something nice. And they're like, go do it yourself. You're an independent woman. See, wealthy men, they love being great at stuff. They love doing things for people. They love doing hard things no one else can do to build a life no one else can have. And they're just striving to give that to somebody. And so a feminine who can receive all of the power of this masculine, this guy who's special for being a master of enterprise, and can give back something that he doesn't already have, which is optimism, peace, femininity. That's the divine trade that they're trying to make. I can't believe it's 2024 and we're still having a conversation about 50-50 on bills. But see, where she lost me is when she said, look at me, do I look like a woman that's going 50-50 on bills? I'm not really sure what she meant by that because what does a woman that goes 50-50 on bills look like? The real question is this, why don't you want to help your person build? Why do you think that you're better than your person? Why do you think that you're more valuable than your person? <laughs> why don't you want to put in and help build? That's the real question. Do I look like I would go 50-50 on bills? No. Okay. I think it's time that we... How do you rate our guys? Like, are you... How much would you spend on her on the first date if you went on a date with a woman? Like, I'm asking this question because at times, as growing up, or maybe you find that my experience through dating you know, were such that there are times maybe the girl is more beautiful like that, and then I'll be like, you know what, I'm willing to pay extra maybe if it's for, for, for the dessert, or I'll look for a, a nicer uh, restaurant. But these are some of the things you go you get to go through until you reach a level where you're like, okay, it's just one and the same thing. It won't matter. So at times you find that like it's the, it, it, the treatment, the way you treat one woman from the other woman is different because you get to put uh, some sort of value on it. Maybe you are looking to say, okay, this one, I think she has her things all together. You do your uh, due diligence and you say, oh, you know what? I think she, she's, she's fine. Maybe it's some future prospect you are trying to like, okay, you know what? I think maybe this one, she, she has some qualities. So you find that it will be different. Uh, the way you treat her, again, it's maybe you, you meet somebody, you even know right off the bat that, that this person is, uh, she belongs to the streets. You know, you're not going to do certain things. Uh, like, you know, so in terms of her, she's saying she can go 50-50 with the man. So like, I want to hear from you guys what you think if... Um, you would actually let her pay the whole bill. Because <laughs> she's lucky to love you. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> in that case, I think I want to <laughs> Stuff like that. Let, 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 let's get it. This immature conversation up. I think it is time that women grow up. Get out of the delusion that y'all have created for yourselves. Find ways to be proactive and show up and help and support your person any which way you can. Y'all like to try to convince yourselves that I'm not gonna settle, I'm okay with being single. But that's a lie. Because guess what? In your 20s and 30s, y'all sit just like she did and say, I'm too cute, look at me. Do it look like I'm about to do this and do that. So y'all say, I'm not settling. I'm not going 50-50. I'm not dealing with no man who don't got more money than me. He needs to have this, needs to have that just for you to sit and be a Dr. Brian. Dr. Brian is 42 years old and sat right there on that couch and said, I'll date a 26-year-old as long as he ain't got no kids. I don't care about him not having no money as long as he come with good energy and he's high functioning. So basically, it's all a lie. Y'all end up right back at square okay, one. Okay, so... um.
let's look at it from this point of view. So, uh, the people that read the Bible, if you are a Christian, or I'm not sure about the Quran. So, like, you find that um, a woman is designated as a, as a helper to a man. A wife, she's a helper to a man. So, um... For any man there that is married or whatever is dating, uh, to some extent, like, even if they are able to do everything, do you think those men do appreciate a woman that also does something or help out? You, you understand? Like, um, I could be paying uh, if it's... Uh, the rentals, maybe I'm stay. I'm I've list out. I've, I've, I've I'm under a list maybe for for where I'm staying, or maybe I've gotten a mortgage. I'm paying a mortgage. I'm paying for all the cars, and I'm taking care of other stuff. And uh, you, you understand, or well, and maybe that person that maybe I'm dating and or I'm my wife, she starts helping out with things. Maybe like there are times maybe. It could be groceries. I'm not saying she has to buy all this stuff. It could be those smaller, smaller things to 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 get them out of the way. Like she, she's helping you do those things, so that you also focus on 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 bigger stuff. Maybe you're building a business. I mean, she 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 can buy some groceries. She can do some stuff. Like if she's working, she can't just say, you know what, he has to pay for everything. He has to do everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> How are you playing your role as a helper? Hmm? How are you playing your role as a helper? Because even in the household, you find that at times you are tired also. I mean, I'm willing to step in the kitchen to do something for you also, maybe to do some breakfast for you. It's not like it's, it's, it's a daily thing that I have to do that, but like I'm willing to help because we are in a relationship. We are married. We are one. We have to help each other. I have to make your life easy. I have to take away and shield you from all these uh, financial burdens, uh, the harsh realities of life. I have to shield you from all those things. I have to build walls around you and my kids. You understand? So... To some extent, maybe there will be smaller things that you can help that don't have to be uh, or to come to my attention. It can be um, smaller bills there and then you know, a phone bill. You're going to be like, you know what, I paid the phone bill. <laughs> or me not even realizing that the phone bill is already paid. I'm not saying that men should go around to look for women who pay their bills. No, I'm saying that men should be responsible enough to find reasonable people that are willing to build with you. Guys, if you like the content, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Benzo and subscribe to my channel.